So the book that I was planning on reading today is called Rabbit Ears. It's about a little bunny who does not like washing his ears and the things that happen to him. Rabbit ears. Hey, do any of you have rabbit ears? Look around. Go look in the mirror. You don't have rabbit ears. You have people ears. Hopscotch knew what he liked and what he did not like. He liked rabbity. Building a tower 12 blocks high with no wobbles at all. And very chocolatey chocolate cake with extra icing on the side. Hopscotch did not like lumpy pudding, cold, wet paws, and losing rabbity just before bedtime, even though rabbity was usually found exactly where Hopscotch had left him. And Hopscotch knew for absolute certain the thing he did not like the most was having his ears washed. Hopscotch liked his ears dry. He did not like them soapy. The soap always ran away and ended up in his nose and it made him sneeze. Achoo! And the sneezes shook him from his soggy, drippy ears to his toes. Hopscotch did not like it one bit. Hopscotch would do a lot not to have his ears washed. With Rabbity's help, he would hide them. Sometimes he'd pretend he'd turned into a cat, a cat with very small, clean ears. Or he would hold on to them very, very tightly. Hopscotch's mother tried tricking him. Where's the airplane? Hopscotch's mother tried begging him, please, just this once. She even tried chocolatey chocolate cake. Look, it's your favorite but nothing worked. One day, Hopscotch's big cousin Bobtail came to stay just for one day and one night. Hopscotch and Bobtail played high jump and long jump. Then they listened for danger as they rescued Rabbity from the lion's den. They played and played until all too soon, it was supper time. When can I go and stay all by myself at Bobtails? Asked Hopscotch through a mouthful of extra chocolatey chocolate cake. When you are big, little Hopscotch, said Daddy. When you are big. After supper, it was time to take a bath. Hopscotch was happily playing submarines when he noticed something odd. Bobtail was washing his own ears. He didn't even seem to mind that the runaway soap got in his ears and nose and mouth one bit. And he didn't get the sneezes at all. Not one sneeze. Big rabbits wash their own ears, thought Hopscotch. Hopscotch felt it might be a good idea to practice ear washing on Rabbity first. Rabbity didn't seem to mind at all. In fact, they had fun with all the bubbles. What are you up to, Hopscotch? asked Daddy. I'm practicing, said Hopscotch. Practicing what? said Daddy. 
practicing washing my ears so I can be big and go and stay at Bobtails all by myself, said Hopscotch. Well, said Dad, that's wonderful. Hopscotch knew what he liked and he knew what he really liked. He liked bath time with rabbity and clean soapy ears. He really liked singing a song with Mommy to celebrate his very clean ears. Soapy, soapy, soapy ears, soapy ears, soapy ears, washy, washy, washy ears, washy ears, washy ears, fluffy, fluffy, fluffy ears, fluffy ears, fluffy ears, all day long. And best of all, he liked packing his favorite games. Waving goodbye to Mommy and Daddy and going to stay with Big Cousin Bobtail for one whole day and one whole night all by himself. Well, almost. Rabbity came to the end. Thanks for listening to my story with me. I wasn't expecting company. I'll see you later.